Retro Gaming Mania! Hey guys, Retro Gaming Maniac here, and today I wanted to show you a recent pickup I got. This is the Sega Genesis Ultimate Game Player. This is going to be an unboxing and review of the system. Now, I recently picked this up at a Rite Aid for $40, but you can also pick them up at CVS. And a couple other stores have them. Bed Bath & Beyond actually has them. And uh, it's basically a little handheld that lets you play some Sega Genesis games on the go. And it comes preloaded with 80 games. And... Uh, Go ahead and turn it around. You can see the games it has preloaded on it. Now, only 40 of these games are actually Sega Genesis games. The other 40 are kind of like uh, homebrew games, like chess and you know Frogger clones and stuff like that. But it actually has some pretty good titles on it: Alex Kidd, Alien Storm, Altered Beast, Arrow Flash, Bonanza Brothers. So you can see the list goes on and on. Comic Zone, E SWAT. It's got a bunch of the uh, Echo games, but I never really got into those. It does have the Golden Axe series, 1, 2, and 3. Kid Chameleon. Shadow Dancer, Shinobi 3, that's a good one. Streets of Rage, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spin Spinball. So basically it even has Sonic 3D Blast, which is actually not that bad. I played it the other day. But uh, go ahead and show you the box here. There's actually two different versions of this. The one I have um, is this one here, and it comes with, you know, the games I just showed you. But there's another version that has, like, Mega Man on the front of it. And it actually comes with an AV cable and a few extra things, which uh, kind of wanted that one, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But I have seen it. H10 and up. And this here kind of just shows you everything on the system. I get my camera to focus. There we go. SD card slot. 2.8 inch screen. It's got a volume rocker. Video out, power switch. This is actually a really big box for uh, the size of the system because this system is tiny. I'll go ahead and show you. There you go. So you have the instruction manual. Basically tells you how to load up a game, gives you instructions on how to put your own games, like uh, own Sega Genesis games, on the SD card slot, which is a really cool feature. So uh, you pretty much put any Sega Genesis game on the SD card slot here, on an SD card. Now, it doesn't come with an SD card, but it does come with a slot, so but you can get those pretty cheap. You can get them for like four or five bucks. But uh, this is the, the system here. It's got a uh, mono speaker, little D-pad, and the D-pad's actually pretty nice. You know, it, um, you would think it wouldn't control too well, but it does work just fine. Got your A, B, and C buttons, and your X, Y, and Z. Your start, and this is your menu button. This is how you go back to the home screen. You have your charging port, uh, LED indicator, earphone, and AV jack. I think that's the AV jack. No, earphone, I'm sorry. Here's the earphone jack. This is the AV jack, so you can plug it into your TV. Unfortunately, this model does not come with the included AV cables that the other model has. The uh, model with the Mega Man, I guess maybe is an updated model, but it comes with the AV cables. Uh, have your volume switch, SD card slot. There's another LED. I guess that flashes when your battery gets low. I haven't had mine run out yet, but it's the back of the system. comes with a, uh, they say it's a replaceable... Um, rechargeable battery in there but uh, I don't think you'll have to replace it unless yours is just faulty but 
Let's go ahead and take the uh, little screen protector off and power it on. I like that Sonic and Knuckles. Turn the volume up. All right, so it just gives you a basic menu here. You have Alex Kidd, Alien the Storm, Altered Beast. You just choose it by scrolling down. Recycle through, let's see, Fatal, Fatal Labyrinth, E-SWAT. Let's try one everyone's familiar with. So we'll try uh, Sonic 2. If I can find it, here we go. Now the screen is great. It's um, crisp and clear. The only thing I don't like about this system is the sound is not that great, but you can fix that with the headphones. Yeah, there's no lag, no slowdown. I haven't had any glitches. Plays great though. Yeah, this is the Sonic I remember. The sound is a little off, but like I said, if you put a uh, put some headphones in, it sounds fine. Let's try another game. Let's try. Let's try some Golden X3. It feels comfortable in the hands. It is a little small, but I guess that's fine if you're on the go. You want something small. You don't want anything too big. Uh, the buttons are pretty small, but they do work just fine. The D-pad works perfectly. I love the D-pad. And if the screen is really clear. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Camera to focus. Now I have not got a chance to try the uh, SD card option, putting games on SD card and playing it from that, but uh, I've heard it works alright. I just have not got a chance to try that yet. I mean, it's got a lot of games on here to keep me entertained for a while, so. Now this thing is small enough, you can pretty much just slide it in your pocket and not have to worry about it. And it feels a little light, but uh, it, it doesn't feel flimsy. It's light, but not flimsy. It feels sturdy, like it's well made. Um, only thing that does feel a little cheaper the buttons here. Maybe just because of the size, I don't know. But uh, when you do have an SD card insert, uh, ins inserted, <laughs> inserted, you'll just scroll over to the SD card option and your game should pop up. You'll be able to choose them and launch them from here. But overall, I think this is a great little system. And for 40 bucks, I've even seen them as low as $30 at some of the uh, pharmacies. I don't know what it is about the CVS and Rite Aids, but they carry these. But uh, for $30 to $40, this is a really good deal. And with the included ability to add your own games, I mean, why not? This is perfect for on the go if you want to play some games on the go. I mean, sure, you can always emulate them on your phone, but then you got to worry about the touchscreen and all that. And uh, this is just a really cool, portable Sega Genesis player. <clears throat> now, if only they would come out with a uh, Nintendo NES or SNES portable game player. That'd be awesome, but... This is a licensed product by Sega, and uh, overall, I think it's great. Battery life is fine. I think you get about four and a half to five hours out of the uh, out of a full charge. I have tried it with the AV cables, and it does give you a good clear picture on the uh, TV. It comes with a, I guess that's a mini USB. Yeah, mini USB. And. Uh, Overall, it's great. The screen is bright. It's not too dim. And it's really clear, actually. Eternal Champions. I remember I had this one growing up. It's a really fun game. Yeah, the buttons are nice and clicky. But they're just small. But that's alright. I mean, you just gotta get used to it, you know. Uh, one player, fight, practice, uh, fight, let's just fight. A 
Whoa. I haven't played this game in forever. As you can tell. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it. That's the Sega Genesis Portable Game Player. Or Ultimate Portable Game Player, sorry. By AT Games. It's a great little uh, system, especially if you're going to be on a long road trip or you just want to shove it in your pocket for uh, when you're out and about. I do enjoy it. I do uh, carry it with me at work. And uh, it's very small. I mean, it fits right in your hand. Look at that. It's actually smaller than some cell phones. So, But I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.